Hey guys, I'm back. Today I want to walk you to why stone is easier than brick to lay. Let's dive right into the video. But before I jump into the video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one. Let me walk you through this step by step. So here I have Sanjay setting up a template right at the door so that way we can go right to it to buck our stone right onto this template. Reason why we're putting the template right there is because we don't have our door installed yet. If we did have our door, then we'll just go right, then we'll go around quarter inch away from our door. So we're just putting this template right where we want our stone to be. So once, once we finish and remove the template, we're gonna have quarter inch clearance for caulking and later on if they want to remove the door they can easily take it away without damage the stone so as you see i start the layout of my stone i like to start with on a short wall like this usually i would start with two two sizes of stone here we have a three dimension stone so i would start with like a medium two pieces of medium and then i'll change it and put a, a big or I put a small just so that that way we can break the band up a little bit as we go in the video you'll ex i'll explain more to you and you'll see everything come to life of what i'm saying in the start of the video of how to form your pattern as we go one other thing you want to do as you lay your stone you want to make sure you use your level on each stone that you lay it's very important to maintain the level a lot of guys tend to lay a few stone before they put their level it's okay if you lay one if you're going to put one beside it and then you lay your level both at the same time but you don't want to go on top of the one that you laid before you go ahead and level it because sometimes you, you might it might look like it's level but it's not so you want to always use the level as you go and sometimes it only take like two seconds put your level bang it down if you have to and that way you have a nice level wall as you go up here i have sanjay at the front here um laying i like to give them you know sometimes the hardest spot of the the job that's how i like to teach my guys at times rather than have them in the easiest spot so that way once they they learn past the hardest part it becomes easier for them so i have him right at the front here trying to build the corner for me once you lay a few it's gonna put a, a reference line there to use to build up the corner as we go you will see him there trying to figure out how to to return the corner there while he's here while he's there doing his thing i'm just here setting up my uh, my wall here i'm just trying to face the stone the stone then one hand usually come with a smooth and one come with a face to it the face is the same as the face of the stone so it's more rough and the smooth part would be smooth so in most cases you want to chip it up or you want to chop it with your chisel in order to get get the face as i go in the video you'll see me doing a few um facing facing your door or your window you always want to put the face of the stone rather than put the smoother part of the stone if you learn stone where you have a wall like i'm doing right here you jolly the, the the guy who was doing the block he would leave out some brick ties so that way you can tie your wall into the brick or into the block wall if they don't then you want to drill into your concrete here i'm just facing a stone right now as you see i'm trying to chisel go right around it that way it looks nice and straight once we put it close up to our door sometimes you might have a big bump in the middle after you do your chiseling you want to just use your hammer and bang it down so that way you have a nice straight looking face right where the door gonna be i like to use the word nice <laughs> hope you guys know what i'm when i what i mean by when i said nice you know nice mean beautiful to me when i'm describing stonework so here as i finish i'm just go ahead and do some joints here we're using a modder that have color in it 
you know so I think it makes the model dry more faster so as I go I like to do my joint this way I can get my joint look you know more smooth and, and nice rather than wait until it's it's too dry out before I do it so as I go I do my joint here I'm just using the hammer to face my stone so I'm just chiseling off bit by bit and then I just go ahead and mark the face of it that way the face of it looks straight because we're gonna put it right to our door right now I'm right up to the the level of where the foundation started you want to step six inches down that's where you normally put your flashing or your weeping plastic this area Chris was where earlier I was having Chris and Sanjay here doing their thing I don't mean I heard me too I don't I also have a few video up going over the tree rule of how to lay stone and I'm gonna make a video very shortly just explaining the tree rule of laying stone and in my opinion I think laying stone is way easier than laying bricks a lot of guys are intimidated by laying stone they think that stone is harder to lay than bricks but in my opinion I think if you learn the tree rule of how to lay stone automatically once you know the tree rule the pattern will form itself so it's pretty straight and straightforward and i have a few video up on youtube but i will make a few new video going over the tree rule of how to lay stone and if there's any difficulty you come across while you're on the job site feel free to shoot me an email or leave a comment and i'll definitely get to it and help you in whichever way i can I know it is when you just started out it seems hard but you know as you go you will you will learn in my previous video I, I saw a few guys commented I should um, butter both my 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 stone and also butter um, butter the stone that I'm installing and butter the stone that I'm laying to get a better um, drawing but the way how I butter my stone, I put more mortar than what I need. So once I put it in, it's going to compress. And as you see, I use my chowel. I know it can be a pain to most people to use the chowel afterwards. But I like it. I like to use my chowel to compact the joint. So that way I know that it's properly filled. If it's easier for you to just butter both sides, both the stone that you're laying and the stone that's already installed, you know, I mean, to each their own. The way how I did it, I feel it works fine for me. So whichever way works um, best for you, just go ahead and do it. As you see, I butter the stone in my hand, and the stone down there is also buttered as well. Not always it's buttered, but if if not, I use my chowl and I compact it, which I think the joint is pretty filled. guys if you reach this far in the video right now we are like almost 10 minutes comment and give the video a thumbs up that's all I ask from you guys to make these contents 
just so that the algorithm may recognize the video and share it to more youths so that they may view and learn from it as well. I want to spread the word out there to as much youth as possible. It's not easy to find Mason. Right now I need bricklayers and trust me man, it's hard. So I want to spread the word as much as I can so that I can get some youths to come into the trade. So give the video a thumbs up, share it with whoever you think is needed. So that way we can get more youths out there to learn this trade. They can come and make money. You know what I mean? A lot of youths out there on the volley this trade. You can make up to 60 bucks an hour. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more coin video like this one. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. So you see here. We finish this section here, finish the entire current section.